The Diary of Samuel Pepys, 19th of January, 1660. This morning I was sent for to Mr Downing, and at his bedside he told me that he had a kindness for me, and that he thought he had done me one, and that was that he had got me to be one of the clerks of the council, at which I was a little stumbled, and could not tell what to do, whether to thank him or no, but by and by I did, but not very heartily, for I feared that his doing of it was but only to ease himself of the salary which he gives me. After that, Mr. Shepley staying below all this time for me, we went thence and met Mr. Pierce. So, at the Harp and Ball, drank our morning draught, and so to Whitehall, where I met with Sir Anthony Cooper, and did give him some answer for my lord, and he did give us leave to keep the lodgings still. And so we did determine thereupon that Mr. Shepley might now go into the country and would do so tomorrow. Back I went by Mr. Downing's order, and stayed there till twelve o'clock, in expectation of one to come to read some writings, but he came not. So I stayed all alone, reading the answer of the Dutch ambassador to our state, in answer to the reasons of my lord's coming home, which he gave for his coming, and did labour herein to contradict my lord's arguments for his coming home. Thence to my office, and so with Mr. Shepley and Moore to dine upon a turkey with Mrs. Jem. And after that, Mr. Moore and I went to the French Ordinary, where Mr. Downing this day feasted Sir Arthur Hasselrig and a great many more of the Parliament, and did stay to put him in mind of me. Here he gave me a note to go and invite some of the members to dinner tomorrow. So I went to Whitehall, and did stay at Marshes with Simons, Llewellyn, and all the rest of the clerks of the council, who I hear are all turned out, only the two leads, and they do all tell me that my name was mentioned the last night, but that nothing was done in it. Hence I went and did leave some of my notes at the lodgings of the members, and so home to bed.